just so proud uh, of the lady you've become. You know what? I couldn't be happier. You know, we're not losing a daughter. Uh, we're gaining a son. And uh, I love Evan and, and, and what he's, he's brought to our family. He, he's just, uh, he, he, he's a tremendous guy. planning this day since we were little and I can't believe it's finally here. We've been through so many chapters together and I can't wait for you and Evan to begin this chapter together. I bet you are wondering how I know Evan so well. I met him a while back, June 13, 2000 to be exact. Yes, I'm his little brother Adam. And as you all can tell, he got the good looks but I got the smarts because I'm not getting married. Today, they're beginning their life not separate, but as one. I believe that uh, they have committed to each other, and I pray that they have every intention of the world of remaining faithful to the vows that uh, they're taking today. If you have a burden, and you share that burden, then it's cut in half. If you have a joy, and you share that joy, then the joy is doubled. So no marriage can survive without one basic ingredient. And that ingredient is love. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not jealous. Love does not brag. It is not arrogant, nor does it act unbecomingly. Love does not seek it its own, is not provoked, does not take into account a wrong that has been suffered, does not rejoice in unrighteousness, but it rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things. Love believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. 
Heaven, you may now kiss your bride. I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Evan Christopher Lake. Change.